we are in Bielsk Podlaski, a city in uh, northeastern Poland, which before the war was inhabited by about 2,500 Jews. At the turn of the century, 19th to 20th century, there were close to 5,000 of Jews living here. Only last year, there was a restoration project of a local Jewish cemetery. This Jewish cemetery was established here in 1807 and up until today its borders are clearly visible although it's not entirely fenced but its borders are visible and about 100 Matzevot survived. In the central part of the cemetery there's a clearly visible mass grave becoming a burial site of about 200 of local Jewish inhabitants who were murdered by the German Nazis. After they entered here, they entered here late, only in summer 1941, as in the time period from September of 1939 till June of 1941, Bielsk was obviously under the Soviet occupation zone first. So that's a monument standing on the mass grave, which reads in Polish. This is the site of execution of Polish citizens of Jewish nationality who were shot here in the years of 1941-44 by the Gendarmerie and Gestapo of Hitler in Germany. In this common grave there is over 200 people buried. Glory to their memory. The text in the bottom says the Society of Bielska, the people of Bielska, established this town in September of 1967. That's very early for this kind of commemorative stones. There's almost no Matsavots left. There are only traces of the concrete graves, bottom parts of those graves that are still visible. The cemetery is obviously maintained, I mean the grass has been mowed. And in such a way it's become an attribute to the Jewish community that lived here for centuries. On the other side of this entrance monument, which has a little historical text, The designers or the architects decided to build into this wall the Matzevot, Jewish cemetery stones, which after the war were turned into the milling stones to mill flour.